Alright guys, welcome back to another killer video for today and today we're playing a little bit of Oni because I had a lot of fun of him the other day and I want to do it again. <laughs> so straight into our build we're gonna, gonna be running basically the same thing we usually do except replacing monitor and abuse for agitation. So of course we have barbecue and chili for the auras. Agitation because this is genuinely my favorite perk in the game. <laughs> Uh, infectious Fright so I can get information whenever I down people, and Corrupt Intervention so I can get my power without losing too many gems early on. Now for add-ons we have the Chip Sci High again, and the Bloody Sash, you guys can pause if you need to read what they do. And let's get straight into these games, because oh boy do I love playing Oni. Alright, and starting off with a solid map, Father Campbell's Chapel here. This... Got a good spawn too, so I know that more likely than not there's nobody behind me. I might have just seen someone off in the distance, but I don't think I did. And either way, it's more likely that I'll find people out here than behind me. See? Let's remember some the Nia, good to know. This lobby did have either three or four flashlights, so I'm expecting this to be a very aggressive squad when it comes to um, when it comes to uh, trying to flashlight save people. That's really smart of this Nia to play so safe. Uh, against Oni, you really do want to play as safe as possible because you don't want to give him the first hit early on. Did I just... I feel like I just saw someone out there, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, that's a mistake. I really thought I heard someone right there. Huh. I don't know where these guys are at all. The sewer whispers would actually be really nice on Oni. In honesty. Actually, I might run whispers uh, one of these days on Oni. Okay, I mean, you just got on the generator right next to me. This Fang thankfully ran away from everything, gave me a free hit there at that pallet. And I see the other Fang as well, which means I don't really need to collect that much blood. She's gonna stun, this, stun me with this pallet, that's alright. Blood me, please? Thank you. Yeah, she gained basically zero distance right there, and uh, just for the blind, gave me my power for it. I'm going to try and get it down on her here, and go off that. I saw the other thing as well in front of me. Where are you going? That's a very strong window that I don't really want to deal with, in all honesty. And you just use her sprint bird. She's going to be running down over here. Alright, good movement on my part there. She's going to go for this window. Oh, no, she didn't. Nice. Where the fuck did she go? What the hell? There she is. Oh, I guess I was wrong. There's someone upstairs right now. I just heard it drop down to my left as well. This is a problem. I really needed it down with this power. Oh, with this activation of my power. Oh, she just ran off to the left. Fuck! Oh, I thought she would go for the window. Smart of her not to. Ah, oh, that was such a greedy swing for me. But I really needed the the hit there. Yeah, it's a huge problem. Especially because my corrupt is out now. I can't find this Nia at all, she just disappears on me. She's actually using stealth really effectively mid chase, which is something you don't see too often. I don't think it has any more progress than what I left it for, so I'm gonna take some time to collect this blood so I can get my next power quicker. I think I just heard someone on it. Yep, there's someone up there right now. Alt the window? Yep. <sighs> Okay, I guess I'll swing directly next to her. She doesn't make that window again. Perfect. I'm gonna kick this. Hopefully I can keep it regressing. I've put myself in a really difficult position by not getting that down on her earlier, though. I'm trying to get my power for this fang that I saw right here. Is she still right here? Oh, well, she might not be, but whoever this is, is. This is, is. That's awful. 
She really doesn't want to use her life. That girl, of course, went straight back to the generator. I'm not going to be able to defend it, but I might be able to down her for it. That's not a sprint burst you want to- What the fuck? No! I, I didn't think it would move like that! That was such good movement! That was not- <laughs> And I know where the third girl is as well. Perfect. Nice. That was a very, very good second power compared to the first one. This girl definitely doesn't have Unbreakable. She would have used it by now. But I do want to pick her up because she is going to be fully recovered at this point. Agitation will help me get to the hook faster, which will help me rotate towards this girl faster. Nice. If they have Unbreakable, they can use it. She's going to go for this window. Live. That was a good, uh, good fast fault. It's not an easy fast fault to hit. And she didn't have live. Is she gonna go for a pickup or an unhook here? I think she goes for the unhook. That seems like the best play to me. This Fang was killing herself on hook for some reason. <laughs> Just wanted to look at her through the window there. No, dead hard means uh, game over. And there we go, the strength of Oni. I'm gonna take this girl as far away as possible. If they had Unbreakable, they would've picked themselves up by now. So I know I have some time to get away from here. Hello. Do I have basement here? No, unfortunately I don't. I think I can make that hook off in a distance though. All right. I should be able to make this with agitation. Mm, I'm not so sure about this anymore. Oh my god, agitation's so fucking good, man. These guys are trying to crawl in the corners of the map so that I can't hook them. I think with agitation though, that won't matter. This is actually the perfect game to run it. Whatever. I'm not gonna bother going back for her. She could be. It's whatever. She finds Hatch. Uh, later on, she finds Hatch. If she gets these unhooks, she gets these unhooks. I think this girl's dead on hook. I think she struggled uh, for long enough to get that unhook. So. Yep. She went straight in the locker. Weird. I'm gonna pick up some of this blood. I know. I think I know where the Felix is. I just wanna pick up uh, some of this blood for later on. He's back here, right? Yep. Thankfully, he made it a little bit easier for me as well. I mean, I would have made this hook it regardless, but... Still nice of him to crawl a little bit closer to it. Yeah, this girl's definitely playing around barbecue. I don't think she's nearby at all. I think she's just far away. If I'm this Felix, I'm killing myself right now, but... Hey, if he doesn't want to kill himself, he won't. I'm gonna go ahead and let this girl get the unhook if she wants to. Yeah, he's gonna kill himself. I'm not surprised at all. It's the nice thing to do in this scenario if you're the Felix. So the reason I got my power and held on to it was I want to try and use it if I find the hatch. Basically to try and patrol doors with it. I think I got decent door. Yeah, I got really good door spawns actually. So if I do find the hatch, it's very unlikely that this girl gets out. Shoot for the unhook, which is noble of her. I'll head on back here. So uh, scratch marks leading towards the killer shack. Do I see scratch marks leading to the left? <laughs> Maybe it's kind of hard to tell. I don't think so though. She's camping this pallet. <laughs> I almost got her there too. She's funny. I like her. Oh shit! She didn't go for the window. This girl. I mean, she's smart. In all honesty. Yeah, you don't make that. Never mind. Felix is off in Narnia. He, uh, this girl played around barbecue already, so I'm expecting the Felix, or I'm, I'm not sure if Felix is going to. Is what I'm trying to say. Hopefully he doesn't, so I can just find him right away. But if he doesn't, if he gets out with the hatch uh, by hiding effectively, which it seems like he's trying to do, and I don't really care. Does that generator have more progress than it should? 
No, he would have screamed if he was nearby. Unless, no, he doesn't have Calm Spirit. We heard him scream earlier in the game. And he doesn't have Iron Will either, so. Who knows? At this point, it's just RNG. Whoever finds the hatch first wins here. Hey, Felix! Has Sprint Burst 99. Very smart of him. Once those pallets down, he's in a real shitty zone. Nice, fuck. Oh! Never mind, I thought he was on the other side of it. We saw Sprint Burst, so we don't have to wait out Dead Heart, so we gotta wait out his fin. And there we go. He's actually in an area where I don't know if I have any hooks nearby. Oh, okay, right, I have this one. Throw out the Nia Kobe off this one. Nice, there we go. Agitation actually came in so fucking clutch though to hook that Nia. Cause I wouldn't have had enough, like I didn't have enough hooks out in that area to hook all four of them. So if, uh, even, like, even if the Nia didn't Kobe, it, without agitation I wouldn't have been able to hook all four of them. Uh, which is actually really awesome. <laughs> Getting actual valley out of agitation when it matters. <laughs> This is where I wish I had a face cam, because I had the, just the biggest smile on my face over that. Someone had Unbreakable? Who was this? The Nia? It was the Fang. Oh, it must have been the one Fang that I didn't slug. That's unlucky. <laughs> oh, man. Well, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. So, unfortunately, I'm an idiot, and I forgot to record my audio for this map. But I didn't want to... I didn't want to just record a different map because this is actually a really great game. So as you can see, we're on Dead Dog Saloon and right away I spotted that we have an object of obsession. I start heading over towards her, but I see somebody else in the distance and you guys know how I feel about object players. I tend to I tend to want to just um, ignore them as much as I can. Now I know this girl's going for this window, I knew that she wouldn't make it and I go for the swing narrowly getting her. Go ahead and get rid of this, uh, win or this wall right now. And drop down because I heard that generator to my right was on, so I could head over to this direction and pressure it. Now this girl is very clearly feeling confident about herself, and then she makes a terrible decision and basically gives me a free down here. You know, if I don't miss my swing, like I tend to do, like that. <laughs> now this Claudette could have tried to take a hit for the Meg, and that would have been a great play on her part. Yes, she would have fed me my power, but at the same time, she would have denied me from getting a really early down, which is what I got anyway. We force this pallet down early on, and it's not the best pallet in the world, but still want to get it out of the way if possible. And I want to go ahead and pick this girl up. I've been wor very worried about flashlights, because I know there was, a, I think, a couple in the lobby coming in. Now, uh, she does miss the flashlight save, the Yui, and I think I'm fine here, because the Yui's the girl that I saw working on that generator. But as you can see, the other Claudette was working on the generator, so she managed to finish it right under our nose. Now, at this point, I'm just trying to build up some of my... Uh, some blood for my power. Uh, really, I'm just looking for somebody else to find in this scenario. I thought I saw somebody out in the distance, but I turn around and I see that both these girls are nearby, that Claudette was very clearly holding under her sprint burst, so I went ahead and forced it out. And since these guys are playing so aggressive towards this hook, I'm going to play very defensive towards it, just doing what I can to make sure that the unhook doesn't happen for completely free. Now, I do get a little bit greedy here, and I want to get my power really badly. I'm so close, but I need one more a blood orb to get it. And there isn't any more nearby because I sucked them all up. So I come over to where I know there's a couple more, and I get my power right as I get the unhook. This is a good position for me to be in, though, because I know where several people are, and I can go for this girl with my power. She's trying to play around a tree to, get, to make me miss, but I play correctly and get the hit there. I hear that injured girl to my right, not who I want to go for, and I actually spot this Yui hiding behind these boxes thanks to her blue hair, which gives me another down there. I gotta look for the Claudette. I know where the last girl, or sorry, the Meg, I know where the Claudette is. She's upstairs doing the generator. And uh, at this point, I break a great pal. This is an insanely good pal, and she wastes a lot of her time trying to go for a blind there, a lot of her distance. Unfortunately, I messed up my swing. I don't know. I shouldn't have gone for the Demon Dash. I should have gone for the regular attack. But it's fine, I do get the, the down eventually. I know where the Claudette is as well, and I'm in a position right now that could be very deadly to them. So I want to pick up this girl with the object first, because uh, more likely than not she's going to have DS Unbreakable. I actually, since I have Agitation, I threaten heading over towards her to try and deny the pickup, but I don't think it's worth it. I go ahead and get the hook stayed out of the way to confirm it, and I'm going to go ahead and pick up this, this Meg. 
Now, I'm not really sure if this uh, Yui thought I was going to go for the pickup or not, but she get, goes for a great dead heart and buys a lot of space there. I get the injure onto the last Claudette, and I'm going to go ahead and get the, uh, pick up this Meg. So what I did right there, I'm not sure if you caught it, but I was body blocking by standing directly on top of the Meg so they couldn't pick her up under my feet, which is what that Claudette was trying to do. I could have probably turned around to hit her, but I didn't realize she was so close to me. But now I have everyone injured, and I'm in a great position. Right here, I was actually just turning off my phone alarm because I forgot to turn it off earlier. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to pick up some blood, get my power, and then I'll be ready to go. They do heal one person. I know they're upstairs on that generator, but it's a generator I don't really care about at all. I thought I heard somebody over here in the killer shack, but... Eh. Not much I can... Uh, <laughs> not much, uh... Or, I was wrong is basically what I'm trying to say. Now you do get the pick up there, I threaten to chase this Meg and I have a little funny moment here where I just kind of watch her run towards me for a second there. <laughs> but I decided to let her go since she was coming right off hook and I get very lucky this planet was greedy and went for the flashlight. This is not how you play against Oni by the way, this this uh, obstacles aren't near big enough for you to play around it like that because Oni just has so much speed it's not worth it at all. I hear this cloud of, or this Meg to my left in the pallet. I try to go for a swing, hoping that she's camping it, but uh, she isn't, and it actually turns out it's a Claudette instead. So, this Claudette ends up mind gaming herself. I th didn't realize that she was going to play it that way because I thought she would mess up, or I thought that she would realize that she messed up and come back for me. So, I end up missing the swing there, but I do see the Yui running off in the distance to, my, uh, to the right here. So I go ahead and use my demon dash to try and get a down on her, and this Claudet just runs out of running for no reason. Now I did notice that my power was running out, so I go ahead and kick that pallet, and I realize I don't want to chase into main building at all. The main building is really strong, and I knew I heard somebody else injured all the way out here in the distance. And thankfully when I come back here, I find the Meg and the Yui are healing. I'm not sure why this Meg thought it was a good idea for her to take a hit for the Yui, considering the Meg was dead on hook and the Yui uh, still hasn't been hooked yet, I think. Yeah, she hasn't been hooked yet. But this Yui plays it really greedy because she has dead hard. Uh, we wait it out here, swing through it, and we figure out where the last girl is, or sorry, where the third girl is as well. Probably coming for a flash, I'd say, more likely than not. So I make sure to just face away from her whenever I go for this pickup. I want to go for the pickup here just to confirm the death on the Meg. And I could try and chase her there with agitation, but I don't think it's worth it in that scenario. I think it's much better to just confirm the kill in this scenario. Because although, yes, they are only at four generators, they are a sort of the friends group, and more likely than not, they could just pump out generators all of a sudden without me realizing it. So I see this, this Claudette out in the distance trying to get the pick up on the Yui. Now, I think I make a mistake here by committing to this Claudette for as long as I do. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm thinking of the next Claudette. Sorry. <laughs> I, go, I go for a really simple mind game. It's a shitty-ass palette. And I know, I actually, oh man, I'm kind of sad I, I didn't get my live commentary, because as I'm picking that girl up, I say, okay, and the Claudette's about to finish the last generator right, or the third, second generator right now. <laughs> so unfortunately, I don't get to, um, I don't get to do that. <laughs> so they go for, uh, she goes for the pickup here, and this is where I think I make my mistake. I think I should have chased the Yui, because this Claudette ran into a corner of the map, instead of running back into the majority of the map, which is where the Yui ran off to. I hope that the Claudette messes up here, but clearly she doesn't. I'm going to go ahead and pop my power here. I see that girl off in the distance with object staring at me, and I notice that she starts healing, which makes me want to go for my power here, pretend like I'm going to be chasing this Claudette, and immediately I turn around as I'm charging up my Demon Dash to head back in this direction and try and down one of these two girls. And remember, she has Dead Heart, this Yui, so I don't bother going for the swing right away. I'll wait it out as long as I can, then I go for the swing in my power right there. See that the Claudette's upstairs. Uh, the object Claudette and this other Claudette was in front of the, um, uh, near, behind the killer shack basically. Now thankfully I do, this Claudette plays it really greedy for some reason. There's no way she, that would ever body block long enough for me to not go for the down. I think she was trying to make me take her decision strike right here, more likely than not. So, knowing this, I'm gonna wait around. I see that Claudette right next to the hook. Uh, she notices that I see her and makes a smart decision to just run away. But I'm still expecting Unbreakable from her, considering she has Objects of Obsession. It's just a common perk combo that you see. So when you expect one, expect the other, similar to Quick and Quiet and Head On. I see that girl's just waiting there trying uh, to figure out when she can come for the save, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick up, facing the opposite direction on this Claudette when I think her Incessant strikes out. And she doesn't realize how that I have agitation, so I just catch up on her quickly and get the down. There is nothing that makes me happier than getting Valley out of agitation in both these games. 
So I get the hook on the growth object, she's dead on hook, and I can hook this Claudette as well. Now, going uh, going back to the topic of getting value of agitation, uh, yeah, I did get that sweet, sweet agitation value, uh, baby, as Otofu would say. But, uh, yeah, agitation isn't really a great perk. Um, it's one of my favorite perks, for sure, if not my favorite. I think I did say it was my favorite um, earlier on, but... It's, it's not a great perk in all reality. All it does is make you move a little bit faster while you're carrying people. Which, yeah, uh, we saw today two different examples of niche uses of it. You know, when people are trying to bait a hit or when people are all crawling into the same corner to make it hard for, for me to hook them. But I just don't think that, uh, that you're really going to get a lot of value of agitation generally. It's just a perk that I enjoy using personally because I'm quirky, I guess. I don't know. But anyways guys, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.